I am speaking to you from Lagan on the Caledonian Canal, where we'll be spending around a million pounds over the next few weeks carrying out much needed dredging works. This canal was built over 150 years ago and it is by any standard a remarkable piece of civil engineering. Water collected from burns and reservoirs up in the hills runs down into the canal to supply a gravity fed system of lock chambers. These enable boats to travel uphill from Fort William to a point near Kytra and then down again to Inverness and vice versa. But climate change is now creating real challenges for this system. Extreme weather events bring heavy rain that washes thousands of tonnes of silt into the canal. Unless we keep dredging that silt away, the canal will quickly become unnavigable to larger vessels. Of course, dredging an inland waterway is complicated and extremely expensive. The income from boaters, even on a busy canal like this one, comes nowhere near to covering the costs that are involved. Yet this canal generates many millions of pounds for the local economy every year as one of Scotland's top tourist attractions. At Fort Augustus alone we expect to see almost a million visitors in a typical year, each of whom spends money in local shops, restaurants and hotels, creating hundreds of jobs. Far fewer of those people will come here if there are no boats passing through the canal, if instead we can only offer them the sight of a silted up and weed choked waterway. So even in these times of intense pressure on public funds, the Scottish Government is providing us with the necessary money from general taxation to keep this canal in operational condition. Not an easy task, but a vital one for hundreds of people up and down the Great Glen and beyond. As we get on top of the current pandemic, visitors have been returning to this area in droves. Smaller boats are already back on the water. This time next year we expect that larger vessels will again pass through here, carrying passengers and cargo from coast to coast. This publicly owned canal may be 150 years old, but it is still delivering in spades for the Scottish people. Scotland's canals play an important part in the Scottish economy, both at a local and also at a national level. And as part of the Scottish Government's £230 million return to work package, additional funding is being provided to Scottish canals to allow them to undertake some important maintenance work on the Crinan and Caledonian canals. This will help to allow Scottish canals to carry out maintenance that helps to ensure that the canals are fit for purpose in the months and years ahead and in doing so helping to support both the local and national economy of Scotland.